Welcome to Faith on Film. I'm Isaac Hernandez. I'm Holly McClure. And we are here to keep you informed on everything that's happening in the world of faith and family entertainment. How are you doing, Holly? Well, I'm doing great. I'm excited about the show today. We have a very famous author with yes, us. Yes, we do. In fact, uh, she has co-written almost 100 novels or short stories. She's also the number one New York Times and USA Today best-selling novelist and is also a speaker that every year speaks to about 1,000 people. Or no, never, no, 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 100,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> Who is she, Isaac? She is Karen Kingsbury, and she's here today with her son, Tyler Russell, who apparently co-wrote the, uh, the, the series that we're going to talk about today. And we're talking about the movie A Thousand Tomorrows, which people can see behind you. It's going to be on Pure Flick, so all of you can watch yeah. it. And the star of the show is going to be with us, and her That's name right. is Rose Reed, and she plays the character Allie Daniels. And guess what? We're going to get to talk to her. In fact, there she is. Rose, welcome to Faith on Film. Man, it's so exciting to have you here today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Now, I got to tell you, I just recently moved to Texas uh, a couple of years ago, and I've become very uh, enamored with the whole cowboy thing. In fact, I'm about to go to a rodeo here pretty soon. So this was exciting <laughs> for me to hear about this new series that's coming out, uh, starring you, of course. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Because I know it's very cowboy and cowgirl themed. Absolutely. Yeah. So A Thousand Tomorrows is a six episode mini series that's based on a book by Karen Kingsbury. And it is this really exciting rodeo romance where uh, this barrel racer, which is a very highly competitive sport, meets a bull rider, which is also a very highly competitive and very dangerous sport. And of course, sparks fly, they fall in love. It's very cute, but there are some complications. It's It's very grounded in reality. It's very uh, inspirational and aspirational. It, it mm -hmm. hopes to provide some sense of some sense of hope, some sense of assurance that even though you know you might find yourself in a situation where you think that there's no way God can heal me here, He manages to heal you, and that's that's one of my favorite things about the show. You know, Rose, I live outside of Fort Worth, and so I've been to the rodeo in Fort Worth. Wait, <laughs> hold so on. It's so much fun to go to the stockyards. I love it. And you know, oh my see, gosh. to see the I bull rider. Huh? Have you I been grew there? I up in Fort Worth. Yeah. I grew oh up my in gosh. I'm in Weatherford. So if no that way. gives you an idea. Yes. yes. And so going to the rodeo, I have to tell you, I hadn't been for years, but I went with my son. He was in town and he goes, hey, let's go because we we're on dinner down there. And I go, okay. It's exciting to be in that rodeo environment and to see the bull riders and to see all that. Was it fun for you in this movie being in that? I mean, I know you're making a movie, but still, was it fun to be in that environment and that element? Absolutely. So my mom and I actually grew up uh, rodeoing and doing kind of the same stuff. And we loved the Fort Worth stockyards. And it, it's always been such an exciting place. And so, yeah, being able to, to, film, a, to film a TV show where we were, you know, uh, participating in the rodeo events and everything like that was really crazy. You know, most of the things that we did looked like a real rodeo. And if you just filmed what was happening in the arena, you would be like, oh my gosh, this is a great rodeo that we're watching because our stunt doubles were incredible. The the bull riders that they brought in were just brilliant. And, you know, um, we, we, the only difference I think between, uh, between a real rodeo and what we were doing was that the stands were empty unless we were filming that way. So it, it was a really unique experience. Now, you you did say sparks flew, so that means that the, <laughs> this technically then is a romance kind of a series, right? Even though it's all about bull riding and, and uh, you know, the, your horseback stuff, but it's really a romance, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's it's a romance between Allie Daniels, which is my character, and Cody Gunner, which is uh, Colin Ford's character. And it's it's really cute. I when I first read the the novel before I even got the role, I was just in love with this romance. It's so wholesome. It's but it still manages to be exciting and new and fresh. And it was just so much fun to film. And that is important, yeah. by the way, because there's so much out there right now that that is romance. But it really is highly sexually charged and just not good for families to watch. And it's great to see a, a show that really is going to be family oriented. Holly. No, I was going to say, you know, Colin said he learned a lot from playing Cody, his character. What does Rose learn from Allie playing your character, if anything? Oh, my gosh. I always love this question because I, I don't think there's ever been a single role that I've taken that I I didn't learn something. So I feel like I learned so much from Allie. It's 
it's it's always so interesting going on to a set, taking on a new character and kind of taking on their flaws, but taking on their strengths too. And something, you know, one of one of Allie's strengths is that she is just incredibly brave. She's incredibly hopeful, incredibly optimistic, and she wants to protect those around her, even though she is hiding a secret that is pretty difficult to hide and, and it's a it's a challenge for her in her everyday life. She manages to to continue to uplift those around her. She's only worried about making sure those around her, uh, you know, know that she's safe, know that she's okay, and that they all have a good time too. And that's that's something that that really struck me. And I think I've I've learned a lot from her and and I really want to emulate that in my own life and make sure that I am just as considerate of those around me as Ali was around or as, as Ali was with those around her. Sorry, I'm getting tongue twisted here. <laughs> well, What's now there? this is, of course, is a faith based uh, series, correct? That's right. Okay. Now, so did you grow up in the church? Uh, are, are you a person of faith? Absolutely. I, I grew up kind of Southern Baptist. My mom is uh, what I would consider messianic jew and so we we have very different there's very different styles of faith in our home but i think it's beautiful because i get this this western perspective from the baptist church and i also get this eastern perspective from my mom and so i, I feel like i had a really beautiful faith upbringing uh, and I, i was so excited to be a part of of this project mm -hmm. Well, that's very different faith upbringing. I don't think a lot of people, but the Jewish Messianic Jew and the Baptist, that is a really interesting. Yeah. I like how she said kind of Baptist. Kind of. Yeah. I love well, it. We, we, were in, we were in the Baptist church for a little while, and then my mom decided that uh, she wanted to do her, her own like home Bible study. And so we ended up doing our own home Bible study. So that's why I say kind of, because we were there, but it was for a short time because my mom was like, nope, we're doing a home Bible study. Mm. Now, I'm not hearing you mention dad. Did you grow up in a, in a single parent home? No, I, I didn't. Uh, I'm just, I, I'm a big mama's girl, but no, my dad's <laughs> wonderful. And he actually. Was he, he the Baptist? Uh, he was the Baptist. Yes, that's correct. He was the Baptist. So um, he, he was a very strong leader in the house, very strong man of faith, which I really appreciated. They have a really great Uh, they have a really great relationship now and, and they've worked out how to, you know, because they're very different faiths. And so mm -hmm. that's something that that was really unique and really uh, beneficial for me to learn from growing up, how these two different faiths were able to to coexist. And, you know, they both are following the same God. And I think that that's beautiful. And so I, I was I learned so much from their relationship. And I'm I'm really proud of, of how they've been able to to make that work. You know, um You have not not only done this project, but you've done other projects. I was reading where you were in a project. I think it was uh, Finding You with Vanessa Redgrave. Did you have a chance to be with her and, and scenes with her? Absolutely. Yeah, I had a lot of scenes with her. That that movie is is definitely one of my favorites that I've ever that I've ever worked on, particularly because of her, because she was just such such a joy to work with and a legend and an icon when it comes to uh, acting and and film. She knew things that I don't think any other actors know. She she just was so experienced and really just a legend and was was so kind to everyone on set. I really can't say enough good things about her. Thank you for saying that because I've loved her from a, for years and years and years. And I was hoping she was a nice person. She looks like she'd be the kind of, go, oh dear. And she would take you under her wing and under her arm, you know, and, uh, and do that. So thank you for saying a good report. Yeah. It's fun when you're an actress for you, especially your age, because you're growing up with all different age demographics of people who have been in the business for years and years. And then, you know, newcomers. So I always love to talk to the younger ones to say, have you gleaned anything or learned anything in working mm -hmm. with these projects? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, I've learned so much, especially, you know, from from the older generation who came before me and kind of paved the path for me to even be here. So I, I feel like every single time I walk onto a set, I'm learning something new. I learned things from Colin on this set. I, I love I love that aspect of filmmaking. Now, I read in your bio that you, you said that, uh, of course, you you love reading and writing and you consider yourself a secret nerd. What, yeah, it's not what a secret anymore. By that? It's not a secret anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Did I did I just let it out? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's in my bio. I forgot it was in my bio. Um, <laughs> you I, let it out. You let yeah, it out. I what do you mean by out. that? 
Um, well, I'm just a big book nerd. You can't even see the extent of my bookshelf here behind me, but oh um, I, I'm a massive book nerd. I used to have a book blog that I have since taken down, so nobody go try to find it. Um, but I used to have a book blog, and I was obsessed with with reading and reviewing the books and critiquing the books. And so that's kind of what got me into film was because I knew that I loved storytelling. I was obsessed with storytelling. And um, my parents would say that, uh, that, you know, part of the reason that our home Bible study got shut down was not because of, not because they weren't enjoying it and it wasn't going great. It was because I was bullying the children into being in my like home movies and stuff. <laughs> so so I, I figured out that's, that's kind of, that's kind of how I got my start in acting um, was because I, I was just so obsessed with storytelling. I was, I'm such a nerd when it comes to, mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to books and things like that. I, I am technically supposed to be done with college, but I'm still taking classes because I just, I, I like school. I'm a little bit of a, of a book nerd. I'm an English nerd. Huh. So uh, that's, that's where the nerd comes in. Well, wow. speaking of reading and speaking of books, how is it working with the author of this book? Oh, it's been, it's been so much fun. Uh, you know, I, I've gotten to do a few book to adaptations or book to film adaptations, and this is the first series that I've done. And so I, I really wanted to meet with Karen before we, before we got started, before cameras were rolling. But honestly, we were just, we moved so fast that it wasn't possible, but I did get to meet her recently and she was just such a gem. I was so excited. I always fangirl a little bit because I, I'm getting to meet the person who, you know, wrote these books that I was like, oh my gosh, I love this book. It's so cute. And so I did fangirl a little bit. I hope she didn't really notice, but I guess that was public information. So pretty sure she was probably flattered that the person that's starring in her you know, adaptation of her book is the fan because, you know, you want that. But she's written so many and she's got such, you know, Karen Kingsbury, by the way, we should mention her full name. I, I just thought it was interesting you saying you're a book nerd and then to be able to be in a movie of someone who's a, a major prolific writer. I don't know what an honor it, it was yeah. so it was so exciting i was so honored to be a part of it and still uh yeah, book book to film adaptations are my favorite projects to work on and speaking of projects what else is in the future for you so i just wrapped on a project at the end of the year called the futurist and that's my first writing project i oh. uh, i wrote the script for that and i had a very small role in that so i'm really excited to to bring that uh hopefully hopefully to audiences this year. Mm -hmm. um, I'm working on a science fiction film with uh, Angel Studios who brought uh, brought everyone The Chosen and working with them right now. We're going to wrap here in a couple weeks, maybe a month. I don't, I need to check my schedule, uh, but that's been so exciting. So much fun. I've loved working with them. And then I have mm -hmm. another project coming up this summer that I can't really say much about yet, but I'm very excited about it and can't wait to share more when I'm able to. Well, on this, okay. yeah, the, the, science, the science fiction film, um, was Joth Riggs on that project? He sure is. I love I, Joth. He's, ah. the, he's the first AD. We've had him on our show and we love Joff. We've had him on here. That's why I wanted to ask yeah. you, you know, and we love, in fact, probably several people from that project. And I, he's been, I'm a friend of his. He's been posting on social media saying it was an amazing project to work on. So I just wanted to ask if that was the same one. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm going to tell him I saw you and met you. Yeah. He was on Holly and Isaac's show, Faith on Film. He was, and in fact, he was just at Capernaum Studios working on a film last summer, which is where I also work mm -hmm. outside of Weatherford with Capernaum Studios. And he no did way. a film project there. So small world. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awesome. It is such a small community. I love that. That's one of my favorite things about this community. Rose, next time you're in the Fort Worth area, I wish you would call me up. I'd love to come to the stockyards and take you to dinner and meet you and let's have some fun. <laughs> yes. Let's Let's do it. Well, I, I always come to Weatherford because Teskey's is there. And I want to, I'm always trying to go to that Teskey store. All right. Yes. Okay. You have to look me up and let me know. And I'd love to take you out. I and take you to the studios. And make sure you get her on a horse. Okay. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Let's hop on a horse. Well, so listen, how can people follow you uh, so that they can learn all about your future projects, especially the one you can't talk about right now? <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, you can just follow me on Instagram. Uh, it's just my name. And I, I post a lot of horse stuff there because I do still ride horses. And that is my hobby. Post a lot of horse stuff, a lot of um, random film stuff. But yeah, I would love to love to meet you guys there. Fantastic. Well, well thank I'm you for definitely going to follow you. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes, thank likewise, you. Holly. Thank you for being with us. Uh, we're, you know what? We're going to go to the trailer of this, uh, the series so people can kind of know what it is we're talking about here. And then when we come back, we're going to have none other than guess who? Karen Kingsbury. Thanks again, Rose. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, guys. We'll be right back. How do you know it's real? Peace. 
He came to give us peace. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the three-time champion, bad boy, Cody Gunner. You heard him. Cody Gunner, saw you ride tonight. You were good. You have no idea how good being angry makes me. You have just witnessed history. That is a 13-5-1 for Ali Daniel. What Dustin did out here is so bad for you, honey. Everything's bad for me, Mama. Miss Daniels? Allie, right? The barrel racer. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Have you ever seen anyone so pretty on a horse before? Are you chasing me, Cody Gunner? Well, that depends. Do you want to be chased? Come on. Really, Allie? <laughs> what? Did you what me? I saw those eyes at you. Is this really something? You and Allie? Why do you write angry? My dad, he left when I was 11. My brother was just three. Why do you ride sick? My sister, she was sick too. I didn't want to live like that, you know? Locked inside, too safe to really live. That's how you look when you ride. Free. That's the perfect word. Thank you. What makes you believe? How do you know it's real? Peace. He came to give us peace. I like being caught by you. Ellie, you're my reason to breathe. That may be yours. Well, after that exciting trailer about this amazing movie that we've already been talking to Rose about, we now have the woman who's responsible for writing it, and I guess the man as well, Karen Kingsbury and Tyler Russell. Tyler and Karen, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Yeah, We're so thanks excited. for having us. This is great. Okay. I don't think I've ever interviewed Isaac. Have you a mother and son team who've written a book and done the nope, movie and nope. have other movies? This is exciting, you two. Yeah. That you're Hus doing. Husband and wife has been it. Has yeah. been it. <laughs> mother and son, you're the first. That is cool. So, uh, okay, now that you've seen the movie, I have to ask, is it different when you're writing a book and then you see the movie and then are you disappointed? Are you happy? Was it better than what you thought it was going to be? Okay, so now this is the whole, you know, mother-son thing that we have to bring back because I wrote the book a while ago and loved it. It was always one of my favorite love stories, an angry bull rider and a sick barrel racer. I'm a love that never should have happened between the two of them, the faith that draws them together. So I, I loved the book, but uh, in the last, like it was about a year and a half ago when Sonia Firm came to us and said, we would love to see A Thousand Tomorrows as a television series on Pure Flix. I mean, I said, well, you know, I'd, as much as I would love to write them and I love screenwriting, I was so busy with my deadlines and I knew there was just one screenwriter literally in the world that I would want to work with. And that was Tyler. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's at this point because we've done this now. I mean, he's we have a movie on Hallmark that we wrote together and then we've written um, another TV show that hasn't been picked up yet that we're working on. So we've just done a lot of screenwriting together. And it was, it was like, I said, Tyler, if you have time, then let's do this. And, and he did. So uh, he kind of got to do the first draft. And what we see on screen is exciting. It is fulfilling mm -hmm. because uh, it's our hearts on the on screen. So, Tyler, this isn't your first rodeo then. <laughs> no pun intended. I, I, I see what you did there. No, it's not. I mean, I've, I've, I've been learning from the best, you know, growing up under under mom and seeing how she's an incredible storyteller with a great heart, so creative. Um, and then I did a bunch of writing and, and creating in, in college and after college. And it's just something that I'm continually growing and working at. And so to work with her on this was an incredible experience. And I think Pure Flix did a fantastic job bringing the story to life. You know, and as from a male perspective, Tyler, you know, what did you lend to it that maybe your mom said she wrote it a few years ago, but in seeing it play out, did you add any extra touches or extra things that you're seeing on the screen? Yeah, I mean, I, I did. I think, you know, I love the book. It, it came out in 2005. It's an incredible story. But I think uh, things that I added, you know, I, I added some friends for Cody, some of that camaraderie and brotherhood and someone to bounce ideas off of. And then, you know, I have four brothers. And so I had a strong connection to brotherhood that Cody has with Carl Joseph. And um, I think my perspective as someone currently who's single, who's looking for a wife, uh, relating to Cody, who's who has his eye on this girl, Allie. And so I think that there's just different perspectives 
that I brought to the story and hopefully made it fresh. And yeah, definitely. And Tyler has, he brings humor as well. Like Tyler understands mm-hmm. the energy you need in a film that it's, it's, I could write a whole scene, a chapter of somebody talking on the couch with someone and it would be gripping, but that wouldn't be gripping on a screen. So Tyler is so good at understanding energy and flow. And uh, we actually just opened here in Kingsbury Productions and we were able to do a movie called Someone Like You based on my book, Someone Like You, and Tyler directed it. Yeah. Um, he's in the editing room. I mean, he just gets it. So I'm honored to work with him. That's how I'm so, so thankful and blessed. And uh, it should be coming out in October. So we're the cut's looking really good. We have a screening coming up in L.A. next week. And um, it's very exciting. It's a, it's a truly beautiful film. we got some it amazing is. actors. Wow. And yeah. great, so. so we're going to have to have them back on very Pretty soon. soon. Molly. <laughs> <laughs> very soon. <laughs> Okay, I want to know, looking now that, you know, the, the book and the, the series is coming out, as you've already seen some scenes. Okay, Tyler, what's your favorite scene that you're seeing on the screen? And Karen, what's yours? What did you, what were you happy about on page that you've seen on the screen now? That's a great question. I mean, I think for episode one, one of my favorite moments is in uh, Cody meets his mom and brother at this diner. And she's trying to tell him that his dad wants to reconnect. And his anger flares up again and, and you know, She's like, don't be angry, Cody. It's it's not helpful. And he says, you know, you have no idea how good being angry makes me because he thinks that anger is what makes him a champion. And the way that Colin Ford acted that scene, I just think he he totally nailed it. And it was so fun to see that moment. I, I, I have seen that first episode and I totally remember what you're talking about. Yeah, it's great. I love that. That was a, a very, very powerful moment. And uh, the interaction, the chemistry between Carl Joseph and Cody in mm-hmm. that scene, it sort of establishes the beginning of their relationship yeah. for the viewer. Yeah. Uh, super important. I think for me, Rose and her mom in the trailer at the end of episode mm-hmm. one, um, Rose was such an amazing, did such an amazing job acting that scene. Um, you know, Ali is mysterious to Cody. And part of that is because Rose does such a good job in acting that. Uh, but I think that that scene with, with Ali and her mom in the trailer, where they're talking about life and how she is having a low moment, Ali, and she's saying, you know, everything is bad for me. Mm. Everything. And her mom reminds Ali, God gave you life. And it's a gift. And, and really, in many ways, her mom is asking her to step away from rodeo and just live. And Ali is going to show us that to live is not to step off the field and get on the sidelines, but to live it full on. Oh, I love that. How many episodes are there? And people can watch this on Pure Flix, correct? So we have six episodes in the first season. So I think for the next month or so, we'll be seeing episodes coming out. Yep, every Friday. And then they'll live there, which is like any streaming service. So um, but people can get that seven-day free trial and see the first two episodes on Friday the 24th. And then every week we'll have an extra you know, episode coming out. And then I've also additionally done a 10-minute piece. Um, a Bible study kind of teaching piece to go with each episode and a Bible study. So that all will be available as well on Pure Flix. I love that. So then that's first season. Has it been picked up for any more or when you say seasons, is that it then? Well, we don't know. I mean, yeah, yeah, right now it's one season. There's, um, I have three books in the series, so we'll see. Mm. <laughs> well, so that's exciting. Tyler, I'm, I'm curious about something. Now, your mom is, of course, a New York Times bestselling author. At what point did you kind of go, hmm, I think I might be able to do that as well. You know, I, it's some of my earliest memories, honestly, is writing stories, telling stories. Um, in elementary school, I entered a, a short story competition. It was a national competition and I won. So I think I just, I think God gave me a, a gift of storytelling as well, but I, I had the best mentor. Um, and I, I feel like what my mom did really well was she balanced everything really well. She always put her faith in her family first and then work. I never felt like we were an afterthought. And I just thought, well, look at her. She's doing all of these amazing things. She has a great family and she's an amazing storyteller. I want to do that too. So I, I was writing stories or plays or movies to have my siblings act in. And it's just something that I always dreamed I would do. I just never thought it would look like this. And I'm so thankful that it has. So between writing and directing, now that you've directed, is there one that you like better than the other or is it equal or is it this new passion now that you're going to be the director? Oh, I mean, I think directing is definitely a, a top passion for me. I, I, I love directing. I studied theater and directing in college. And like I said, made my, all my siblings and cousins be in plays that I would direct. And so I think directing is one of my favorite ways to tell stories. Um, and writing is just an incredible um, 
you know, outlet for that, I think. Yeah, I, I feel really honestly that a year from now, two years from now, people will say, oh, Karen Kingsbury, isn't she the mom of that famous director? <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Tyler is so talented. Like, I wouldn't have had anybody else direct my uh, first movie, and it has just been, it, I mean, the movie is beautiful. Very so kind. Was, yeah. And in doing a, in doing her just real quick, in doing a rodeo, did either of you get on the horse at all? <laughs> no. Tyler's been on horses. I have been on the horse. I have not conquered the bull riding, you know. But no, no, not so much. It's much more of a better. It's, we enjoy doing that, like kind of virtually and you know viscerally, kind of like from just the riding. But I mean, Pure Flix did such a great job. If you watch the TV show, it's kind of like you're there yeah, riding the bull. It is. It is. And I just I just moved to Texas a couple of years ago and have since started to really like the whole. Uh, cowboy thing uh, yeah. haven't bought my boots yet but that's that's next uh, but uh, I do I do I'm getting ready to attend the rodeo here really soon uh, very excited about it very funny and great. I was telling Rose that I've been I live outside of Fort Worth and I go to the stockyards and she's been to that rodeo that we've been so we were relating how much we all enjoyed this whole new Texas life and and yeah. the rodeo so we we're we we're in it yeah. for you we're excited this was great you guys I'm excited yeah. to talk to you about this and also please come back and talk about your future film you said when is it going to be released and you think the director when you just directed yeah we're doing it for someone like you we're doing a test screening in LA on March 8th uh, with Screen Engine. So we're going to be talking with distributors after that. It's testing very, very well. Yeah. So that's yeah. exciting. So we're hoping, you know, October in, in theaters. Yay. Oh, well, we're happy for you. Thank you for yeah. coming on. This has been a great time to, to meet you and introduce to you, Karen. I've followed you for years and years and have reviewed some things you've done and, and love it. So we're we're just so honored to have you guys with us today. Yeah. And speak, speaking of follow, how can people follow you? Is uh, Do you have a website they can go to? Yeah, definitely. KarenKingsbury.com. And you can follow me, Karen Kingsbury, on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter as well. Um, I'm about you, Tyler. Yeah, my Instagram is at um, it's Tyler Russell. So you can follow me there. Yeah. At the famous director, okay. Tyler Russell. You can go on your Instagram. And- oh, my. <laughs> yes. And we had him here on Faith on Film. Yeah, we did. <laughs> oh, it was great, guys. Congratulations. We're excited for you, really. You. God bless you and everything you do. I love seeing that, Isaac. I love, as a mother of two sons, I can't imagine I'd be so proud. <laughs> You've raised your son. He's co-writing books with you. It's been his passion since yeah. he was little. He's writing books, and then he turns into a director who wants to direct your books that you've written yes. together. I can't imagine how that would feel. I, I mean, oh. how proud you must be. I had hoped that would happen with me, but my son instead decided to go into the Army. Yeah, and mine are doing other things as well. No, but no, I'm, no, very proud of him. I'm still very <laughs> proud of him. Well, absolutely, Holly, we are. We have run out of time as we always do. These things just are so much fun that they fly like this, don't they? Uh, but we want to remind you folks to write us at uh, faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. That's faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. And you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at faithonfilmtv. And there's one more thing, a big favor that we want to ask of you, and that is, of course, for you to go to our YouTube channel. Yes. Do what, Holly? All you have to do is click to subscribe. That's right. And also there's a little bell thing right there, a little bell button. If they hit that, they will be notified every time we we load up some new shows. So hit that little bell button as well. All right. Well, Holly, that's it for today. It goes quick. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching every week. God bless. Bye-bye.